Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. Today, find out how the price of EOS has changed and what the technical indicators RSI, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. By looking at the hourly time frame for EOS, we can see that the price moved up quickly with around 6.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 4.26. The volume was also high showing that this move was strong and the buyers are taking over. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 54, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there was a bearish divergence and the price already went down. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. You should wait to see if there will be an upward trend to the crypto because the K line has not yet crossed the D line. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Moving to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 65, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. On the lookout for divergences in the 3 hourly time frame, there is a bearish divergence, which means the price could go down from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. The K line is currently located below the D line, meaning that there is a downwards trend. Looking at the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.